Hi everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at Project One. Uh, let's start at our homepage, our community site. If you look on the right here, you will see Project One. Open the link. You will then see Project One files. Click on these. And then download and open your zip folder. It'll open right up for you. And then start with the Word application, Project One. Okay, so this is it. This is everything you need to do in here. Uh, read it well, probably be a good idea. Uh, for the first part, we're going to watch this video. It's pretty interesting. And then we have to read a little bit of the textbook. And then it's really just short answer questions to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five questions. It's not going to take you too long. Um, part B, we're going to run a simulation of a website for a business strategy. And then in part three, we are going to use business intelligence to analyze some data. So let's get started with part two. Okay. So, part two, you're going to have to follow this link, control and click on it, and it's going to take you to this page here. Uh, open your drop down, make sure you're looking at inkjet printers and ink cartridges, and then click select simulation. Alright, so it's pretty easy, step by step. Inkjet printers and ink cartridges, select simulation. And then for four different business strategies, you're going to enter these variables. So when you click through, you get to this page. And then enter the first variables, which you'll find here. Okay, make sure, make sure they're right. And then go to step two. Okay, review this and then run your simulation. Okay, so this is our yearly revenue page. And what you're gonna to need to do is take a screenshot of this. So for Windows users, um, you can just do print screen, but uh, older models, just to be safe, it would be alt and print screen. And then we're going to go back to our document. Come down to this area and paste them. You can resize them once they're in. For any Mac users, you can do command, shift, and four, and you should have the same results. Uh, to paste, it's control V or you can just right click and paste. So you're going to do that for all four of the variables and you need to analyze the outcomes. Okay. And then you will answer a brief set of questions on what you find. So make sure you put all your variables in correctly so you can answer the questions correctly. And then moving on to the third part. Again, it's business intelligence. We're going to use Excel to analyze a lot of um, business data and get some more insight into it. So you'll find the data in the same zip file you download for the project. It's retail sales. And what we're going to want to do is create a pivot table. Uh, there is detailed instructions on how to create a pivot table with screenshots. But I'm going to show you now. So you take all of your data, everything in the table, and you highlight it. Okay, so make sure you don't miss anything. And then you're going to go to the top to our file pages and go to insert. And then we're going to go to pivot table. 
it's going to check that your range is correct and if you highlight everything first it will be and then you'll choose where you want to put it I would suggest a new worksheet and then you click OK and here we have our pivot table okay so now we need to see what kind of a data we want to analyze so we'll go back to our walkthrough okay so the first question we need to do we're going to put customer into row labels which means we're going to separate this first by customer so just drag it down into rows uh, okay so now we want the total in our values field so we're going to take total drag it down to values and what we see is the total that these customers spend on our products very quickly, very efficiently, and it can be broken down into even more deep analysis. So then you can answer the first question. I'm not going to give it to you, but you can see which customer spent the least amount of money in February. Let's add order date. So this is the entire month of February. Which one is the least? You can sort, but you can just look through and see who's the least. Okay. So we're just going to follow through and answer the rest of the questions. The next one, which customer spent the most in February and which salesperson was responsible? Okay, so we can see who spent the most, that's pretty easy, but we want to know the sales rep. So we're going to take sales rep, put them down here. So the customers are still the top level, but then the sales rep is underneath. So as you can see, Jones has had many sales reps, and some have sold more than others. And when you want to remove anything, just take it out. Okay, so follow the instructions, they're rather detailed, and answer these questions at the bottom. And you only need screenshots for the second part, so don't worry about it for the business analysis. Okay, we're ready to help with questions. Good luck.